Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Nick, and I am a program manager here at Google Cloud. And I have the pleasure of bringing to you today our Getting Started with Chronicle Sim series. Now, before we jump in, just want to highlight a couple of things. Um, we're going to cover a ton of information in this session, and there's going to be a lot of hyperlinks. Don't stress about putting getting all that information down. We're going to put all of that in a post that will live in our community space and in our YouTube channel. So whether you're watching live or you're watching this as a playback, we'll have all of the necessary links down below in that post. So just sit back, try to absorb all this information. And uh, with that being said, let's kick it off. So today we're talking through Chronicle Sim. Now, before we talk specifics about Sim, I wanna talk a little bit about the difference between Chronicle Sim and Chronicle Soar. So the beloved Chronicle that we know was, as many of you are aware, bought in 2019 by Google Cloud. You fast forward a year, and uh, in 2020, Google Cloud grew as well as the cybersecurity side of Google Cloud continued to grow, and we purchased Simplify. Now, that has now been rebranded under Chronicle Soar. Today, we're going to be talking about the original Chronicle, the one we all know and love, and we label that, that's branded as Chronicle Sim. Awesome. So with that, Let's talk a little bit about the goals. By the time we're done with this session, I'm hoping you guys have four main pillars. The first one being knowing where and how to get help with any technical questions you have, knowing where to find resources that are free and available to you at any time, know where to get our latest product and release information, and then of course, how to get connected with our your peers and other customers and some experts in the security and the SecOps community, excuse me. So, we have three main digital channels I want to cover with you. And the first one there is documentation. This is an amazing resource for anybody who is either getting started brand new or has been well-versed in Chronicle for many years. Uh, there's tens of thousands of hours that have been poured into this documentation and we're continuing to add to it. So it's staying up to date. So if you're looking for definitions, if you want to know more about Chronicle Sim fundamentals or just product release information, it's all living in our documentation. And I highly recommend you jump into that. Now, the second pillar there is our Chronicle events. We've hosted a couple of uh, meetups where we have customers and security experts and Chronicle experts alike jump in and it's an open forum and we kind of talk about the latest and greatest of what's happening inside of Chronicle Sim. Uh, that's going to continue. Webinars such as this one will also continue and we have other awesome events coming up, potential AMAs with security experts and that's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned. And the way you can find out about what events are coming, what's happening, is in the SecOps community. Now, you will find that this SecOps community is going to become the lifeblood of everything you do within Chronicle Sim. It is kind of your one-stop shop. We'll talk more about that, and I'll give you guys an in-depth look at that SecOps community and some of the offerings inside of it. But want to cover the basics there. And then, so as we're moving on... Talking about that first point would be the technical support aspect. This is how you reach the technical support team. They are amazing. They are world-class and they're really simple to reach. So first you'll just open up a case using the Chronicle Sim support portal. You'll open up a browser, you'll navigate to that hyperlink there, and then you just log in using the credentials that were provided to you. And then once you've logged into the portal, it's really simple. You'll click on create a case you, and then you provide as much information in that description box as possible. It's helpful for our support team so they can get you the correct answers. But it's also important because these support tickets are saved. So if something goes wrong and they need to reference it, it's really, really important that you're as descriptive as possible. Now, one thing here I'll, I'll uh, minimize my camera so you can see is the... Priority order is fairly straightforward. P1 meaning critical impact. P2 meaning high impact. It's severely impaired. The service is severely impaired. Three means medium impact. And then four is low priority. The service is fully usable. Uh, there's a bug or there's some, th some feature isn't quite working correctly. Awesome. So now moving on to cover just a touch on our documentation. Here's how you can find our how-to guides. These how-to guides are amazing from learning about how to just simply access Chronicle to 
investigating a domain. There's, it's incredibly comprehensive, and I think you'll get a lot of value from this. So to find Chronicle SIM documentation, you'll just navigate to that hyperlink. It's under Chronicle Docs. You could likely even just Google Chronicle documentation, and that will come up. And then at the top there, you'll click on Guides that's highlighted by that green box. Now, if you want to see what the latest and greatest is inside of Chronicle, you'll need to access the release notes. Um, and to do so, you're also going to be in that same space. So it'll be in Chronicle documentation. But this time, you'll click on Resources, as highlighted by that red box. And then over in the left-hand side is the release notes highlighted by the green box. Uh, at the time of this recording, they, had, they have just announced last week some awesome features, some new changes that have come to Chronicle Sim. So it's being updated regularly. I highly recommend you check them out. Stay tuned because there's lots of amazing stuff that continues to happen inside of this platform. Amazing. So the next topic here is the SecOps community. I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this than the others simply because like I had noted before, this is going to kind of become your one-stop shop. This will be the pillar of everything you do within Chronicle. So within the community, there's, there's three main spaces that we really want to focus on in our discussion today, and that's the discussion forums. <clears throat> and in those discussion forums, this is a place where our customers can come and ask questions. They can, you guys can find information quickly and easily and even connect with other folks who are working on similar projects. Uh, we've got blogs, which is where uh, some of our leadership will post technical content as well as customers. Um, we have posting content in there as well. Um, that's accessible at any time. And I highly recommend you check out some of those blogs. There's a lot of amazing stuff in there. And my personal favorite is the courses and learning section. This was created by Googlers to be fast and flexible. Uh, to, so you can take it at your own pace. Um, and it's very comprehensive. They're easily digested, and we'll cover a little bit about what those look like here in just a second. So this is kind of the home page of what the SecOps community looks like. Um, I have a couple of slides on this, but I would rather just show you in real time what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen. So this is the main page of the SecOps community, and you'll know that you're logged in when you see your avatar up here in the right-hand corner. And uh, we're going to scroll down just a little bit and look specifically here at the take a course. This is the courses and learnings that I was sharing with you about earlier. Here you'll find comprehensive lessons on a ton of different topics. For example, Chronicle Sim Fundamentals. Right now we have 21 different videos that are all free, all accessible anytime on utilizing Chronicle. Again, I highly recommend you jump in, see what's applicable to what you're working on and get involved there. Otherwise, We've got amazing resources like our discussion and innovation. Right here, you can see these are the different forum posts that are happening. We've even got Chronicle best practices. There's a little over 70 comments in here with things that are uh, folks are working on that may have a similarity in what you're trying to accomplish in your projects. Uh, there's support as well as our news and announcements. All can be found in that discussion space. But going back, we've even got find your answers and links to Chronicle Sim and SOAR. When you open up Chronicle Sim, it'll take you straight to the documentation. And as we had talked about before, here's your how-to guides. We've even got resources. Here's those release notes that we were talking about. If you have questions on how to reach Chronicle Sim support, there's a Chronicle Sim support and it'll walk you through step by step. So as I said, the SecOps community is huge. And then of course, scrolling down, we've got more um, general discussion uh, topics and ideas. And if you can uh, sort by tags or you, there's even a searchable index. Very, very, very important that you spend some time in there and you get to know our SecOps community. I think you will find that 99% of the questions you may have can be answered in that SecOps community. And uh, there's likely already documentation or somebody has already asked that question before you and an answer has already been provided. Awesome, so what are your next steps? Your next steps are very simple. Make sure you've got access to the Chronicle support portal and you can create a ticket. You don't wanna wait until the 11th hour and it's a day late, dollar short, something massive is happening for you to realize I never had access to the support portal 
and I can't get a hold of support and we've got some sort of breaking issue. So don't wait. Make sure you've got access to the support portal. Next, sign up and engage with that SecOps community. This is super, super important. And I've been hammering on it and harping on it only because I know the value that that SecOps community provides and I can't recommend it enough. Then lastly, just visit and get familiar with the documentation that exists. There's lots of incredible guides. Lots of That is a great place to start, um, but that's it. It's very simple, very high level. Again, uh, don't worry about getting all those hyperlinks. We'll have it linked in the posts below in our community as well as in our YouTube channel. So stay tuned, stay plugged in. If you have any questions, any comments, any concerns, join us in the community. We would love to get to know you. We have tons of Googlers and staff inside of there. And uh, until then, good luck. You're in great hands and we'll talk soon.